many times can you tickle an octopus before he starts laughing? The answer is 10 times. Because tentacles make an octopus laugh. Those four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Here's the ten tentacles from the Conan stretch, uh, stretch goals. And we're going to do these today. Very simply, we're going to do these using washes. Exactly the same way as we did the snake and the bones. All we have to do first of all is find the right colours to use. And we have three for you. First one, Reichland Flesh Shade. The second one, Drakenhof Nightshade. And the third one, is not that one. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? It's not that one either. I thought I'd pick it up. I hadn't. It's Kelia Green Shade. So these are the ones we're going to be using. So let's get on with it, shall we? I'm going to do all of one and then go back to the beginning again. So I'm going to do this in a little bit of a routine. So first off, the Reichland Flesh Shade is going to go on over the under parts of this. This is going to be where the um, suckers are. Dee -dee 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 -dee. And we'll just give a liberal coat of this all over. And once you start doing this one. I'm going to just put the music on and speed it up so you're not having to watch the same thing over and over again. So uh, I'll be back in a bit after I've applied all the um, regular and flesh shade. Okay. first one and see how that is uh, drying up and if it's uh, if it's okay I'll carry on if not I'll wait until it's fully dried before I continue with any more um, 
so it may be a little bit of a, a swish or whatever you want to call it um, before I do the next one so let's just get the first one we did out and see how it's drying um, it doesn't look too bad it's not perfectly dry but I'm hoping it's going to be dry enough for what we're going to be doing so let's close that up and we get out the Greg Drakenhof nightshade now this as you know is a dark bluey grey colour ideal for the um, colour of an octopus or shark or any other marine animal and all we do is just add some of this colour and we make sure that we go slightly over with the, the underside of the tentacle um, to give that bit of a line there I'm going to be a little bit more neater with this around the edges because I don't really want it to bleed too much and then after that what we're going to do is just dribble a little bit of the Keelia green shade over it just to add a little more of a different ish colour so it looks more like a bluey green than any other colour and anything down at the bottom we can just mop up like so there we are and that's it for the octopus sausages, we do a bluey green on the top part and the Raikon flesh shade on the bottom. Not a hard job, but at least you get to see how it's all done. Try not to make this one bleed like we did with the snake um, because I said I didn't like the way it looked after it was done with the snake so I'll do a very um onto this very um what we call it prominent difference between the two colours and the two areas which is why I want to be as neat as we can with this. Yep, and now for the green, just add a little bit here and there, and there we are. That is all we're doing for this video. You've seen two of them done. I'll just go to carry on now and get the others done as well, but not quite as dried as these ones are. But <coughs> they're all going to look fairly similar to this. And uh, you can see them all when we're finished and we get round to actually sorting out the base for it. Which um, I'm not sure what to do with this one yet. We will find out in time. But until then, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now.